Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to Maxine Loves Crafts. I'm Maxine and thank you so much for clicking on this very special video today. So it is a Halloween video, yay! Hosted by our bestie Annie at Indy Annie Jones. I will talk about that a little bit more here later on after my first project because there's some special things I want to share with you. Okay, so this very first DIY I'm doing is a, I got this at Hobby Lobby. I think it was $1.99. I show, show it here in a minute. It was a little bit worn, you could tell, a little chipped of the paint. So I did go ahead and repaint it, the entire thing in Waverly's ink. The reason I had to do that was because this had a glossy look to it and the ink is more matte, okay? Now I have this beautiful decoupage paper that I got from my friend Myra. I will link her channel down in the description box. You guys have to go check her out. She is amazing at decoupage and molds. And she sent me some napkins and some beautiful paper. And this, this decoupage paper here, she got from someone that she gets all of her decoupage paper from, which I'm gonna order from because this here is stunning. Myra, thank you so much for sending me all of those napkins and these beautiful papers. I love them. As you can see, I'm using them <clears throat> in this project. I mean, just look at this witch. Is she not stunning? Absolutely stunning. And don't forget to go check her channel out. Like I said, I'll link it down below. Okay, so I loved the witch, her hat. She looks just, I know that it's, it's, you know, like a watercolor, but I'm telling you, it just looks so realistic. So I went and I ripped all of the corners off because I, I didn't want, you know, straight edges. And normally I would do the iron on method with my Mod Podge, but with deco podge paper, I've actually learned from her channel is that it doesn't wrinkle like napkins do. <clears throat> so I thought, okay, let me just go ahead and try to do a little section at a time. So I'm going to do like half of this. I'm going to put my, my beautiful witch here right on there. Okay. I'm going to make sure I, you know, push it all around there, get the wrinkles out. Now I did not use, um, any cling. I didn't use a brayer. I didn't use anything. I just used my hand to go over it and very, I don't think I got any wrinkles, honestly, just the wrinkles from the paper that were already there. Now, I loved this so much that I went round and round and round about, did I want to add something else to this? And I just, I, I don't. Like, I think she's so beautiful. I thought about adding gems and molds and I, I couldn't bring myself to it. I just couldn't. So I go ahead and I, you know, let this dry. I, you know, make sure that it just is beautiful as it is. <laughs> I go ahead and do it with the Mod Podge. Because, you know, with Mod Podge, if you don't cover up everything, you can see where the Mod Podge starts and ends. So I didn't want that. So I do have it all over my whole tag. I can't believe I got this tag for two bucks at Hobby Lobby. I was so excited. Okay. So after I debated for the longest time about was I going to add anything else to it, because I thought about stamping it too, like maybe putting potions or happy Halloween, but I, I, I really like it the way it is. I'm going to put it out for Halloween and I don't want anything else on it. This is going to stay in my Halloween decor for a very long time. So I take this spider purple ribbon, you know, from, or not mesh, I guess you'd call it from Dollar Tree. Okay. Now I was like, okay, I like this, but I wasn't liking how fluffy it was and how like it was just too big. So I end up dovetailing the ends. Then I make a double knot. So it's not as frilly like it just kind of, you know, crazy on the top. And uh, some of the glitter falls off onto the decoupage paper, which I don't mind because it looks really good. It's almost like it's like sprinkled with purple dust. It's so pretty. Um, now I don't show you that I double tie it here, but you're about to see here in the project. <clears throat> okay, so see how it's not as 
bulky and yeah oh isn't she gorgeous you know you guys tell me down below would you have added something else to her a stamp um some gems some molds i just could not bring myself to it <laughs> i loved her so much just the way she is that i couldn't do it <laughs> and i'm not i'm not mad about it either I love her exactly the way she is, and she's staying this way forever in my Halloween decor. <clears throat> I hope you guys like her as much as I do. Thank you, Myra. She's stunning. And I have more to come from her, too, with uh, some more Halloween paper she sent. Okay, so this is Halloween Palooza. Um, please tell me we're calling it Halloween Palooza. We always do ha uh, halfway to Halloween. That's what we're doing. Um, hollow, happy Junoween. I'm sorry. It's Junoween. Now, Annie, who is Indiana Jones, she is doing a really super generous giveaway. You have to leave in each and every single playlist, like go to everybody's video. You have to say what your favorite project is from each and everyone's video. You guys, there's going to be so much inspiration um, in here. And Annie, thank you so much for always putting these collabs together. You're so talented and so fun to watch. I'm sure you all know Annie, but if you don't, you will not. You, you really have got to check her out. She's absolutely amazing with what the things that she does. I love her so much. <clears throat> okay. So I've got these three houses that I've gotten from Target a long time ago. I've had them in my stash, just didn't know what I wanted to do with them. I took them out and I painted them all in a watered down Waverly antiquing wax. I went through these papers that I got from Timu. Tons, I mean, I had so many of them. I, I just showed them not very long ago in my Timu haul. And again, I'm going to go around and rip the, you know, paper because I don't want, you know, a straight edge on here. <clears throat> excuse me so um and i don't want to lose any of the kitty right i was trying really hard to make make sure that i had her ears and you know all that look at her little rose isn't she cute <laughs> these papers from timu were like a dollar 59 a piece i think and there some of them had three of each picture some of them had two of each picture but you had crows and haunted houses and cats and roses and um you know like um, apothecary type pictures but these are the three that i chose i really really liked them now on here i am going to do the iron on method where i put my mod podge down i bring out my little mini my my mini <laughs> my mini heat press that i got off of timu and uh i'm going to you know, iron down, re, obviously the Mod Podge is dried and I'm reactivating it by ironing it. Um, this worked perfect, absolutely perfect. And I have not had any issues with this, um, way of Mod Podging. And if I am able to do this, this is what I do. So, um, okay. So they're all on there. Okay. And I was like, you know, I don't, I just felt like I needed something because the edges of the paper were white. I didn't like that because I thought, well, you can tell it's paper, right? Even because when I ripped it, it left the, you know how the core of the paper is white. <clears throat> so I got um, some black paint, put some water in it. I put it around the edge of each picture. I then got myself some molds. I've got a lot of resin molds that I've already created in my stash. And because when you're creating with resin on a mold, if you have extra resin left over, you don't want it to go to waste, right? Resin's not cheap. So you always have like an extra, you know, something there to pour the rest of your resin in. So that's exactly what I do. So I end up with all these extra resin pieces. So that's what I'm doing. Here's where I'm putting the black paint around it. Now, when I put the black paint around it, the watered down black paint, it did cause some of the paper to 
I don't know, maybe get some air under it and bubble up a little bit. But <clears throat> that just added to the spookiness of the paper. So I was good with that. Um, before I did that, though, it was stuck to the house. No problems. I like this one a lot. It's got like a bottle and a little skull face and um, almost like some dead flowers and weeds. Yeah, I, I just, I don't know, these papers are so cute. They'd be great for um, Halloween cards and so much more. You can put them in picture frames, add them to your decor, so much. My granddaughter was just here for over the, for, from Monday to Friday, and she loves cats. Like, she is obsessed with cats. My cats, every cat, and <laughs> cat pictures. So she took home a whole set of, like, all these papers. She's like, I'm going to put them on my... Um, books for next year for school and so she took a lot home um, okay now I didn't want just the black on these mold pieces so I took this like almost I guess it's like a, a barn burnt red kind of sort of and I painted my flower with it and I just kind of dusted over um, just like a dry brushing over certain parts of each mold. I'm now going to glue down all my resin pieces. When I was done here, I really, I liked it. I, I, I could have stayed, you know, with it just like that. But I felt like it was missing something, it needed something. So I went ahead and put this ribbon on the top of each, you know, roof of the house. Now looking at it, I kind of wish I would have left it off. I should have left it exactly the way it was, the way I liked it. But I thought, oh, you know, everyone's probably going to think I should add something. So I did. And I regret it. When you're creating, do what makes you happy. You know, some people like extra stuff on their crafts. Some people don't. You know, our projects are our own that we either sell or keep for ourselves. I keep mine for myself. And it needs to be what you like. So I really wish I would not have put the ribbon on top, but I still think it's cute. I just would have preferred it the other way. So I'm really anxious to hear your thoughts. And do you think I made a mistake by putting the ribbon on the roof of each house? <clears throat> Excuse me. And there you go. Here they are. I really think they're super cute. Now, on the other side, I'm probably going to make a fall or Christmas house. Um, because that way I have double-sided right for that time of year. You know, Halloween, fall, Christmas. I can just turn them around and use them on the other side for something. <laughs> what do you think of the resin pieces, too? I really like the resin pieces on there. Now, I didn't get out any of my Halloween tubs, which I wish I would have, because I have so much Halloween. I should have gotten out, you know. But with Malin here, I was really busy. Um, I forgot what it's like to have a nine-year-old. <laughs> I'm not equipped for that anymore. I'm too old. I'm so glad I had my kids when I was so very young. <laughs> but she's so much fun, you guys. She makes me so happy. All my grandkids just bring me so much joy and I can't wait till the older two a little bit older so they can come stay with me as well okay here is my final project which um I really enjoyed I think they it turns out really cute I'm going to get myself some LED candles so I have these two vases from Dollar Tree and I've got myself some Dollar Tree ribbon the trim that was on the houses and that I'm going to put on here also came from Dollar Tree my friend Tammy from Happiness Created sent me this, I think, two years ago. I couldn't find them anywhere in our area. They sold out every time or they never got here. I'm not sure. But I never found them. And she was so wonderful and sent me all of them. So, Tammy, I've not forgotten that you are the reason I have all these ribbons. And I'm so, so blessed. I have some amazing friends, you guys, that <laughs> really help me and and just are so generous and good to me and I just feel so blessed okay 
So I'm taking the ribbon, I'm wrapping it around. Okay, now I am gluing it to the glass, just a very small part of the glass, because I don't want the ribbon to move around, right? So I want it to stay where I put it. I put one all the way at the bottom and one in the middle. You guys don't forget about the giveaway. Make sure you go to everyone's channels. Make sure you all thank Annie for doing a giveaway. I'm thanking her. I'm so grateful for her doing that. Um, you know, it, I'm, I'm thankful that she puts a playlist together for me to be a part of. I truly feel blessed every single time. Um, so, okay. Now I'm trying to put all the ribbons on. I'm trying to make sure I glue it just right, you know, so that doesn't fall off on me okay I'm going to put spiders on one side like on this I think I put spiders on that one I did so spiders all the way around and then on the other one I put skulls around it I can't wait to put some LED lights in here and turn, I, I'm going to get one of those flicker ones this year so that way it'll kind of look like the, the wick is, you know, waving around and put them in these glasses for Halloween. <clears throat> okay, there I'm putting my little skulls on. So once I'm done with all of this, I still wasn't done. I wanted to add something else to these. Now I had more of those skull resin pieces. So at this point they're white and I have to get them all painted black. So you're gonna see here in a minute why I start painting all of them. Okay, so they're all painted, they're dried, and now I'm getting ready to put them each. I put four each on my um, little candlesticks. I saw somebody's channel. I wish I could remember what it was. They took these and put skulls like all the way up the candle holder on each side. And then they put some caulking in between it. Oh, those candles were gorgeous. Um, if I can find that again, I will let you guys know who that is because it was really, really a nice DIY with these resin skulls and these um, Dollar Tree um, candle candle vases, I guess we'd call it vases. <laughs> oh, you guys, between Malin and working, I am exhausted. Okay, so getting them put on here. That's pretty much it on this one. I really, really like them. I can't wait for Halloween. Oh, uh, Halloween is my favorite time to decorate, to craft. I don't know. I'm not into like, you know, spooky, scary stuff, but I just, there's something about Halloween that I just love. And here they are. I really like them. I hope you guys like them too. Make sure you remember Annie's channel will be in my description box along with the playlist. Go check everyone out. If you're new here, oh, I would be so grateful for you to subscribe. I'm almost at 3000. I can't believe it. It's taken me a long time to get here, but I'm so grateful and happy and excited to say soon I'm at 3000. <laughs> All right, you guys happy crafting and I'll see you on the next one.